when people talk about being called to the priesthood or to any vocation that involves celibacy, that is like not being able to to be married, a lot of people have like some really negative reactions. Things like, oh, that sucks to be called to such a thing or oh, that must be horrible. There's also a certain kind of like pitying, like having pity for somebody who's called to such a vocation like, oh, like poor guy, like he can't even get married or he might be so lonely, stuff like that. And there's, there's a little bit of truth in those things in the sense that, you know, people who are called to this vocation are definitely giving stuff up. But it's a very negative way of being at celibacy and thus it's, it's, it's very wrong, you know. God wouldn't call you to something miserable. Uh, God wants you to be the happiest man ever or woman. Uh, and so if he calls people to celibacy, it's because it's actually a gift. It's a, it's a beautiful uh, calling. And I think if we really understood what celibacy and virginity entails, uh, we would almost wish that uh, that gift uh, would be given to us. And we would look at somebody who's called to celibacy and be like, Man, like, what a blessing. Uh, how fortunate, you know? Uh, but that's usually not people's reactions. So, I like to reflect a little bit on celibacy as a gift. Um, and I like to do this um, in an analogy with our marriage. You know, whenever we, we, we think about marriage, uh, people see it as a beautiful, positive thing, you know? Like, man, you're going to get married. Awesome, congrats. Uh, because it's a huge yes, a yes of love, of uh, giving yourself to somebody else. But if we really think about marriage, it involves a lot of no's, you know. You have to deny many things, like deny your own finances, deny your own time, deny maybe certain hobbies, you know, because now you are living with somebody else and you are giving your life to this other person. And then hopefully when children come, you're also giving your life to these children. And so there's a lot of no's, a lot of things you have to, to sacrifice for the sake of your spouse and for the sake of your family. But still, it's a beautiful occasion and a great gift. It's a huge yes of love that requires certain denials of self for a, a beautiful thing. Uh, and with celibacy, people only see the negatives instead of the positives like in marriage. Uh, they only think it's a huge no, no to this, no, 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 no. Uh, and they never see the huge yes, the huge yes that it entails. It's a huge yes to our Lord who is the one who calls us to this vocation. And uh, it's a yes of love, a yes of intimacy with our Lord. When, when our Lord calls us to, to celibacy or virginity, is is to draw us in a very intimate way to Him. Um, and to serve him in a very particular and, and an exclusive way. And so there's there's a lot of beauty in that. And it's also a yes to fruitfulness, you know. There's a lot of fruit that comes from celibacy, from giving yourself to the Lord. And so, yeah, I just would like to invite you to ponder on how you um, view celibacy and virginity. Do you see it as something mega burdensome and something that uh, people have to endure and that uh, is just horrible or do you see it and you, you, you think man like that's such a beautiful calling uh, and hopefully you know maybe maybe with time uh, one can change um, you know one's mindset.